All right, good morning, everybody. We're going to get started this morning in a seated position. I'm gonna invite you to take off your shoes and socks. I'll take mine off today. We're going to start our practice today by having just, just having a seat. And we're going to move all of our fleshy bits come out to the side and make sure that our sits bones are grounded and that we're even on both sides. We're just going to take a couple of shoulder rolls here. Roll the shoulder blades back and down and take a few nice deep breaths. And as you roll your shoulder blades down, think about accentuating the downward motion of the shoulders and reaching the crown of your head to the ceiling. So try that again. Nice big shoulder roll, pull the shoulder blades back and down, and then think about the crown of your head reaching to the ceiling. So the opposite, your head's going the opposite way of your shoulders. Sit up a little bit taller. You might feel your low back muscles fire up a little bit. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. And now as you roll your shoulder blades down and you reach the crown of your head towards the ceiling, pull your belly button into your spine. Try that again. Roll the shoulders back and down, crown of the head to the ceiling, belly button into the spine. And now feel those sits bones. And one more time, inhale, roll the shoulder blades back and down. Exhale, belly button into the spine, crown to the ceiling, feel those sits bones. And now let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath. Inhale, arms come up overhead, reach toward the ceiling, keep your hands up overhead, exhale. Good, take a nice deep breath, inhale again. Filling your belly with air, not just your lungs. And exhale. One more time, inhale deeply. Reach your fingertips toward the ceiling, fill your sits bones, ground you and pull you the opposite way. Exhale, bring your hands back down to the side. We're gonna roll the hands forward, tuck your chin, walk your hands forward. We're just gonna hang out here for a moment to let our low backs release a little bit. Chin is tucked, and I want you to just let your shoulders kind of sway right to left, side to side. Feeling that low back just kind of let go, release. Maybe walk your fingertips forward a little bit further. Keep up with the breathing here, nice deep breaths. Just kind of walk the hands forward as you let your shoulders rock side to side. And you can keep rocking, or you can just tuck your chin and hold. I'm just going to take a few breaths here. Good. On your next exhale, just slowly roll that up. Bringing the legs forward, we're going to let our legs rock side to side. Just a little rock here. So we started at our shoulders and we rotated and stretched out our low back. And now we're starting from the bottom to the top and we're rotating and stretching out our low back. Now you might feel this on your inner thighs, your hips, and that's fine too, because guess what? Those muscles are attached to your low back. It's all connected. Okay, so we're just continuing with that rotation. Good, let's just go ahead and hold it for a moment here. 
hold that rotation. Right now, you've got your right leg rotated in, the knee towards the ground. All right, let's take it to all fours. I'm gonna do cat cow. So in cat cow position, knees are directly underneath your hip bones. So check to make sure that there's a plumb line there. Hands, wrists directly underneath the shoulders. Curl your toes under and round up for cat. Belly button into your spine, flex your glutes, gaze on your thigh. Inhale, drop the tops of your toes to the floor, drop your tummy down, look up for cow. Exhale. Good. Take a breath in. Curl the toes under, round up for cat. Exhale. Inhale, drop the toes down. Drop your tummy down, look up for cow. Good. On your own breath, inhale, round up. Exhale, cat. Inhale, drop the toes down. Drop down for cow. Now on your own breath, let's just take a few moments to stretch out, rocking back and forth. Right, on your next exhale, I want you to sit back, heels, hips come back over the heels, reach your fingertips forward, tuck your chin slightly, forehead to the ground. I'm going to sit back for child's pose. And kind of like how we were sitting cross-legged and we reached our arms forward and then we swayed our shoulders, I want you to sway your hips from this position. You might notice if you shift your hips one way or another that you feel a little more tightness one way or another. <clears throat> all right, let's bring it back up to all fours. And we're going to thread the needle. So thread the needle is where we use our shoulders and our hips for leverage to stretch more, okay? So we're gonna take our right hand, palms up, goes underneath the left, okay? I'm gonna drop my right shoulder all the way to the ground, reach your left hand up overhead, and then use the leverage of your hips to kind of shift your hips towards the right corner of your mat. Round out a little through the small of your back. So tuck your pelvis under. Pull your belly button into your spine. Remember, your right shoulder is an anchor for you. You're going to really lean into that as you tuck your pelvis and pull your hips towards the right corner of your mat. And here we just hang out and breathe. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and bring it up. We're just going to switch sides. So we can put the left hand, left shoulder underneath, 
the right arm. The right arm comes up and overhead. Tuck the pelvis under and lean your left hip towards the left corner of your mat. Nice, let's center it up. Push the hips back one more time for child's pose. See if you're feeling like you're loosening up a little bit. Maybe a little bit of rotation here. We'll be coming back to this position just shortly. I'm gonna take you through a few rounds of sun salutation, my version of sun salutation. And then we're gonna come back to this position. Let's see if those hamstrings, the hips, the low back, the shoulders feel a little looser after we go through some flow. Go ahead and come on up to all fours, curl the toes under, and we're going to push back for our first downward facing dog. As we push back, I'll walk you through a few key points to make sure that your down dog is on point. All right, let's go ahead and curl the toes under, press through the heels, belly button into the spine, gaze on your thigh. Shoulders are out of your ears. Go ahead and start alternating, walking the dog. We're gonna alternate pressing through our right heel and then our left heel. And I want you to do this just slow enough that you can focus. When my right heel is down, I'm stretching my left toes. Okay, I'm pushing into my left toes, stretch those babies out. And then switch sides. Keep switching. I get a lot of questions about plantar fasciitis. And if you notice some tightness in your calves or your toes or through the arch of your foot when you're doing this particular stretch, <clears throat> that's your body telling you, hey, these muscles are getting tighter. The tissue is getting tighter. Okay, it can be from dehydration, aging, not challenging different angles in your feet. So you want to make sure that you're getting these guys stretched out so you can keep all of that tissue healthy. Good. Keep alternating here. A couple more times. Shoulders are out of the ears, belly button into the spine, tailbone toward the ceiling. Good. Let's go ahead and press through both heels now. Soften your knees here and inhale. As you exhale, try to bring your chest slightly closer to your thighs. Ears out of your shoulders, belly button into your spine, tailbone to the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. This time as you inhale, walk or hop your feet forward towards your hands. Come to a flat back and look up. Exhale into forward fold, tuck your chin. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Good, exhale back to forward fold. Tuck your chin. Hands to the ground, walk or hop your feet back to a plank. Inhale. As you exhale, tuck your elbows for Chaturanga. Tuck the elbows in tight. Slowly bring your chest to the floor, tops of the toes to the mat. Inhale, cobra or sphinx. Any back trouble, elbows are on the floor. In sphinx or cobra, fire those low back muscles. They're lifting you. We're trying not to use our arms solely to push ourselves up. Use those back muscles. Your arms are there to assist your back. Fire them. Good. Let's breathe here for a moment. Let's take a moment to think about where our head, neck, and chin shoulders are. Shoulders are out of the ears. The crown of your head is reaching toward the ceiling, but it's okay if it can't get all the way up. You want to make sure that you're not looking up. You're looking straight ahead. 
good. We don't want to throw our heads backward, right? Good. One more nice deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale, push back into child's pose. Good. Come to all fours, curl the toes under, round up for downward facing dog. Shoulders out of the ears. Three breaths here. Inhale. As you exhale, chest to the thigh, belly button into the spine, tailbone to the ceiling. Do that again. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Big exhale. Next inhale, walk or hop your feet forward. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, walk or hop to a plank. Exhale, tuck your elbows in, chaturanga. Slowly lower your body to the floor. Tops and toes to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Good. Stay here. Breathe three breaths. Exhale. In. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Push back. Child's pose. Come to all fours. Curl the toes under. Round up through the lower abdominals. Press through the heels. Come back. Push back for downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Chest to the thigh. Inhale. Exhale slowly. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, walk or hop your feet forward to flat back. Look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, walk or hop to a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Tops of the toes to the mat. Inhale, cobra hold. And breathe. On your next exhale, exhale, push back into child's pose. Inhale, come to all fours, curl the toes under. Exhale into downward facing dog. Hold here and breathe. Good. As you exhale, chest to the thigh, shoulders out of the ears, belly button into the spine, tailbone to the ceiling. Knees can be soft. They do not have to be you don't have to have a straight leg here. On your next inhale, walk or hop to a flat back and look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Walk or hop to a plank. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Tops and toes to the mat, inhale, cobra. Exhale, push back, child's pose. Hanging out right here for a moment. Go ahead and rotate those hips and see if you're feeling anything loosening up for you. Let's take it to all fours now. Curl the toes under, run up for downward facing dog, stay here. Shoulders out of the ears, belly button into the spine, tail mode to the ceiling. I want you to inhale and float your right leg up. Go ahead and circle your right ankle three times clockwise and three times counterclockwise. Good. 
flex your right foot, bend your right knee, open up your hip. Okay, go ahead and straighten your right leg. Curl under. We're going to come up for warrior one. So coming to a high plank with my right knee tucked, I'm going to replace my right foot, my right hand with my right foot. Coming up to a high lunge here. Arms up overhead. So nice high lunge here. Toes are pointed straight ahead. Feel that thigh warming up a little bit. Good inhale, reach the arms up a little bit higher. Go ahead and turn your left instep towards the right heel. Drop the right arms forward, gaze on the right fingertips and lean forward a little bit for me. And then we're gonna tuck the right elbow in, bring the left hand up. Gaze on the left hand. And then let's reverse that. Tuck that left hand back right into your hip. Bring the right hand up overhead. Gaze on the right palm. Reverse the left hand. Let's take a few deep breaths here. All right, let's take this for a balance challenge. Let's bring both hands forward. And we're going to just kind of shuffle the back foot forward just a little bit. Hands straight ahead. Going into warrior three, what I want you to do is think about finding the base of your right big toe, pinky toe heel. Suction cut the instep of your foot. Okay, that's where we find our balance. So if you notice, oh, I tend to roll to the outside of my foot, then you know you need to push into your left toe. Go ahead and bring that back foot up if you can, knowing that at any point you could tap that left foot back down for better balance. And then we're just going to reach those hands forward and breathe. Always helps to find one thing to look at. And go ahead and drop that back foot back down. Coming back up, toes, both toes pointed straight ahead. We're going go ahead and cartwheel down. Both hands come down to the ground. We're going to sweep that right leg back. Come up for a little hamstring stretch here on the left leg. Fire your right glute. Stretch it out. Nice, let's go ahead and bring that right foot back to the ground. Go ahead and bring your knees to the ground. Let's sit back for child's pose. See if you feel a difference between your right and your left side now. You've been stretching a little bit, right? Let's see what that feels like to you. A little rotation through the hips, shifting side to side. All right, let's come back up to all fours, curl the toes under, back for downward facing dog, press through the heels. See, does your right leg feel a little different than your left leg from this position? Now let's inhale and float our left leg up. Good, circle your left ankle three times clockwise and three times counterclockwise. Flex your left foot, bend your left knee and open up your hip for crescent. Just breathe through this for a moment. Feeling a beautiful stretch through that right hamstring and your adductor muscles, those inner thigh muscles. Good, now let's take it to a high plank. So I'm up on my hands, I might have to shift my feet or my hands a little bit. Tuck that left foot under, and then you're just going to pop that left foot in place of the left hand and come on up for warrior one. Good, both toes are pointed straight ahead. Notice how you feel your right hip flexor stretching out. And pressing through your toes, stretch through those toes. Good. 
Good, on your next exhale, inhale here. We're gonna turn that in step, and for warrior two. Good, so my left heel is at a 90 degree angle to my right foot. So it's here, and stepped back. Yeah, yeah. And let's lean into that left fingertips just a little bit more. Push, push a little bit more of your body weight forward. Good. And let's tuck our left hand elbow into our the crook of our hip. Bring the right hand up. Gaze on the inside of your right palm. Good. Beautiful stretch through that lat, those obliques on your right side. Take a deep breath into your right rib cage. Feel it. Feel that stretch. Let's go ahead and reverse that. Bring that right hand back. Tuck it into your right hip. And reverse warrior. Gaze is on the inside palm of your left hand. And breathe deeply into your left rib cage. Go ahead and center it up for warrior three. So I'm going to bring both hands forward. I'm going to step that right foot forward. And then I'm going to find the base of the big toe, pinky toe heel, suction cut the left foot into the ground, fire the right glute, and slowly lift that leg out. Ahead and drop that right foot back, back into warrior two, and then we're gonna cartwheel down and bring your left foot back into three legged dog. Now you can walk your hands a little closer to your right leg if you like, just to get a better stretch on the right hamstring. You might note one side feels a little bit tighter than the other, it's always okay to go back, you know, at the end of class and just re stretch whatever you feel needs a little bit more love. All right, let's go ahead and bring that left foot back down to the ground. We're now in downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale and breathe into both hamstrings, belly button to the spine, gaze on your thigh. And then let's just drop down again for child's pose. And take note of what that feels like to you now. Things are a little bit looser, hopefully. Let's go ahead and come to all fours, curl the toes under, press through the heels, walk or hop your feet forward, flat back, look up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Good, and from here, I want us to take a moment to do leaning palms. So we're just going to lean to the right and fire your abdominal muscles and then center it back up. Breath in, exhale, lean the other way. And this is called leaning palm. What I want to make sure you're doing, go ahead and inhale. Lean to your right. Double check that your left hip does not jut out. Okay, we're leaning from the hip bones up. Back to the center. Inhale. And exhale, lean left. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, right. Back to center, inhale, exhale left, back to center. Good, this time I want to invite you to take a big step back with your left foot. And then take your left hand and reach in between your shoulder blades. I'm just going to go ahead and do that little leaning palm to your right. Good, and hold and breathe. Good. Now maintaining this position with your upper body, go ahead and, well, come back to center. 
step your left foot forward just a little. And then I want you to take your left foot and step it behind your right. And we're just gonna lean again to the right. Okay, now keeping your feet where they're at currently, stay right there. Go ahead and come back to neutral. And let's drop that left arm, bring it across the midline of your body. And go ahead and grab hold of your hand, grab hold of your left hand. Now this time I want you to open your left palm to me and then think about leaning into this stretch. Kind of like when we did thread the needle, except it's palms down. Like if we were lying on the floor right now, my palm would be facing the floor. So palm faces out. Give it a good tug with your right hand to open up that left shoulder. Let's center up, bring your feet together. And let's take the big step backwards with our right foot. Right hand comes in between the shoulder blade. Use your left hand to grab hold of your elbow if you can. We're just gonna lean to your left. Think about your right hip pushing forward. Try to keep your chin parallel to the ground or even use some leverage with your head to push that right arm back. Keeping your arms, go come back to central, keeping your arms where they were, go ahead and, and take your right foot, step it back behind your left. And we're just gonna lean to the side this way. Let's release those arms. Right palm comes out, right palm faces the camera, okay, faces me. You're gonna grab a hold of it with your left arm and pull it across the midline of your body. Beautiful balance challenges there. All right, let's turn it back up. Ooh, I'm gonna shake that off a little bit. Okay, let's come back to, let's come back to just the top of our mats. Base of the big toe into the floor. Go to your pinky toe, squeeze in your heel a little bit, and then suction cup that instep back into the ground. Roll your shoulder blades back and down. Let's take a nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Walk or hop to a plank. And then exhale into Chaturanga. Tops of the toes to the mat. Inhale, Cobra. Good. Just hold here for a moment. All right. Go ahead and push back into child's pose. Good, good. Now in child's pose, I want you to go ahead and take your knees a little bit wider than you might normally have them. And reach your fingertips forward just a little bit more. And if you like, you can even allow your tailbone to come up, keeping your shoulders as close to the ground as you can. Walking your fingertips forward, allowing your bottom to come up from the ground. This is focusing on just opening up your lat muscles. You can also shift your hips a little bit if you like. And see if that gives you any extra advantage or extra stretch, extra release. All right, let's come to all fours, curl the toes under. Knees come back underneath you. Press up for downward facing dog. We're gonna go into our hip opener. Now, if you prefer your hip opener to be on your back, 
you can do a figure four stretch. I'm gonna take you guys to pigeon. I'll give an example of figure four in a moment. Inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, come to a high plank. Walk your hands forward a little bit with your knee tucked under. You're simply going to put your right ankle close to your left wrist and drop your right knee close to your right wrist. Make sure that your shin is parallel to the ground or parallel to the top of your mat. Good, and you might need to bring your right foot forward or your left foot forward just a little bit so that you can get your hips to the ground. Walking it forward, and you sit down into pigeon. Your option, if you need to figure four, if you need to lie on your back, would be very similar. See how my leg is still bent? Could be on the floor level one, level two. Level three, we'll go with pigeon. Good, let's go ahead and walk our hands forward just a little bit. And now I want you to walk your hands over to the left corner of your mat. And let's walk our hands over to the right corner of our mat. Let's set her up, curl the back to under. Go ahead and bring your right leg back up. Stretch that left hamstring one time. And then let's switch legs. Go ahead and come to a high plank, tuck that knee, left ankle towards the right wrist, left knee towards the left foot. A moment here. All right, let's walk the hands forward. So with this one, you can really think about bringing your chest up closer to your thigh or, or to your shin. Sorry. And let's walk it over to the right corner of the mat. Good, let's walk it over to the other side.
Excellent. Let's go ahead and set our back up. Curl your right toe under. Come back up. Right now we're facing dog. Or sorry, three-legged dog. Then we're going to place both feet on the ground. Set the knees back. Push back for child's pose again. And feel how you're getting released from your low back to your hips. All right. We're going to take it all the way down to the ground now. Come up to all fours. Drop the quads down to the ground and the hips. Both arms are coming out. We're going into our shoulder roll sequence. This will be our final sequence here. We're going to bend the right elbow and the right knee. And you're going to take your right foot and place it back behind you, kind of towards your right hip. Or your left hip, excuse me. Gaze is on the ceiling. You're going to reach your right hand up. And so I'm rolling over onto my left shoulder to open it up. You can also reach back and work towards clasping your hands together. You can also think about using your right knee to create some leverage. So by trying to open up your hips a little bit, you can work on opening up your shoulders as well. Gaze on the ceiling. Your head needs to be off the floor here. It might not be super comfortable to do that, but we need to strengthen our neck muscles in this position. Let's switch sides. So we're making a T out of our body. Right palms on the floor. Bend your left elbow on your left knee. Place your left foot behind you. You're going to reach your, right, your left hand up toward the ceiling. Gaze on the ceiling as well. Head is off the ground. If you can, you reach that hand back. And use the leverage of your legs to open up your hips. All right, let's center that back up. We're going to come up for Cobra for just a moment. We're going to do that. Thread the needle for our final time. This is our deepest shoulder stretch. We're going to take a right hand, place it under our left. Palm is up. Palm is facing the ceiling. I'm going to drop my right shoulder to the ground. Take my left hand. Palm is up as well. And place my left hand by my left hip. And on this one, we want our forehead to the ground. Think about your left shoulder coming down and touching the inside of your right elbow.
All right, let's bring it back up for child's or for cobra. And then place the left hand, palms up, right underneath you, left shoulder to the ground. And then you're gonna go right palms up. And your right palm is going to rest right next to your right hip. Think about your right shoulder resting on the inside of your left elbow. Head is on the ground. All right, let's take it back up. Cobra one last time. Push back, child's pose. And we're just gonna feel the difference here between the first time you started with child's pose today and feel the difference between your shoulders, your hips, your low back. All right, let's go ahead and lie on our backs for just a moment. We're gonna do Shavasana. And that's where we just relax. Right, just take a moment to congratulate yourself for making time today to really honor your body, take care of it. You know, most of us like to work out, work on our nutrition, we work on our exercise. Sometimes we need to work on quieting our mind and just being still and having recovery. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and roll over to your side and bring it up. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Good job taking care of you.